So the next thing we need is just an object selected with some keyframes on it. So I'll just hit Shift S a couple of times, maybe move them a little bit, and we can see that we now have some keyframes on the object in the graph editor. Now, to navigate the graph editor, we can hold down the Alt key. It's very similar to this view, the perspective view, where if we Alt and right click, that's zoom, or Alt and left click and middle click together is also zoom. So either one, Alt and right click is easiest. That's the same as here, so we can do that. To pan is just Alt and middle click in the perspective view so it's just the same in the graph editor that's nice and easy now it comes in to be a little bit different when we want to scale on one axis which we want to do all the time so we hold down alt and shift together and then right click and then it's the direction we go first so if we want to go up and down we have to move the mouse up and down so i'm holding down alt and shift right click and then that will scale from the point that i'm at vertically and if we do the exact same thing but we just move the mouse left and right to go horizontally so that one's a big hidden one it's not immediately obvious to people now we can also frame selected so that just means f will frame on the selected area that we have there if we put a few more keys in control c and control v on my hotkeys will do that you can also hit if you're on a mac apple c and apple v it's a different way of doing it but control c and control v on my hotkeys will always force it to do what you want it to do force it to do the intuitive method so just go copy and paste a few more keyframes there now if we select one little part hit f that will zoom in there if we hit f with nothing selected that will frame everything additionally we can also hit these buttons up here so that's frame all this one is frame the playback range so you can see our playback range goes from 1 until 120 but if we were to make that really small coming up there and then we hit this button here it's going to frame into that or if we make it really big something like 2000 really huge and then hit that button it's going to put it down there so that's a really good one as well and the last one that we can do too and this one's kind of handy if you're zoomed in a fair way into the timeline just hit that and zoom right in Right, and so we're missing that a little bit. Depending where your time slider is, you can sometimes be zoomed in a little bit like that, and we can hit that one, and that will just simply frame the time slider to be in the middle. So wherever that is, this will become the center, which is nice and easy too. So it's worth noting that these guys here, the keys down the bottom and the keys in the graph editor, they don't align. You can see we're in frame 91 there, but frame 91 is down here above the 58 key, and so it doesn't actually match up. And the last thing that we want to remember is the V key. Hold that down. And then we can scrub in the timeline. So middle click drag will do the same as the middle click drag in this editor with the V key held down and the middle click drag will do the same or normal click drag will do that as well. Nice and easy one there. So that's the main navigation modes in the graph editor covered.